Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. There are several kinds of mean values. For instance, the arithmetic mean of two numbers is simply the summation of them divided by two. The harmonic mean of two numbers is the reciprocal of the arithmetic mean of their reciprocals. The quadratic mean of two numbers is the square root of the arithmetic mean of their squares. These different kinds of means are not necessarily independent of each other. For example, we are now discussing two numbers bigger than zero. Given that, their harmonic mean is 4, and their quadratic mean is 24, we should be able to calculate their arithmetic mean. Would you like to give a try, and we will come back soon. What bridges those three kinds of mean values is the perfect square formula, the square of x plus y equals the square of x plus the square of y, plus twice x times y. The essence of the arithmetic mean is to find x plus y. So here we keep the part of x plus y. The other two parts do not have x plus y. So we have to find a way, either to calculate them directly, or to express them with x plus y. To deal with the part of the square of x plus the square of y, obviously needs to start with the quadratic mean. The square of x plus the square of y equals 2 times the square of 24, which equals 1152. This part is therefore done. For the last part, twice x times y, we start with the harmonic mean. Twice x times y over x plus y equals 4. So x times y equals twice x plus y. Twice x times y naturally equals 4 times x plus y. So we get a standard quadratic equation of one unknown. It is easy to find its roots by using the formula, which is equal to half of 4 plus or minus 68. Since both x and y are positive, their summation is also positive. We therefore obtain, x plus y equals 36. So the arithmetic mean of these two numbers is equal to 18. In fact, here, we not only have x plus y equal to 36, but also have x times y equals twice x plus y, which is 72. So according to Vieta's formulas, we can conclude that, x and y are actually the two solutions of such a quadratic equation, which are 6 times 3 plus or minus the square root of 7 respectively. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.